welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Alexis Jada and welcome today's notification shout out goes to Shia thank you so much for all your love and support te quiero mucho besos thank you thank you thank you I really do appreciate your guys' comments they literally mean the world to me I will spend any free mama time I have and I will be reading you guys' messages and I will just ball because I feel so freaking seen. I feel so loved. And it's just the community that we have built is freaking amazing. And I just want to say thank you guys for all your love and support. It seriously means the world to me. If you guys want to be part of the no notification squad, all you have to do is just like the video, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below and your comment can possibly be the next notification shout out. For the giveaways, you guys, please follow my Instagram. Check it out. I am announcing the giveaway winners. I need you guys to check out the Instagram, please. So if you're a winner, I can send it out to you. I've announced a winner and she has yet to reply. So please love, please, please, please look at my Instagram so I can send you guys the information. I will not be announcing the winners here on YouTube because of all the scams that go on. This is right here is I'll flash it on here. This account is not me. Anything that says Telegram, anything, anything that says, oh, you're the winner, send me this, send me that, that is not me. That's why I announce on Instagram to protect you guys and to protect me. So please, please do not ever respond if it says, oh, you are a winner. Like they are just spamming. I don't know how to get rid of them. I have blocked so many accounts, but I will announce on Instagram and Instagram only. All righty. Get your little cafecito. You guys know the drill. Close your eyes. Take your deep breaths. As I'm picking, please take those deep breaths. In, out. Let me just pick. Like some of us don't want to do this, but just close your eyes. Don't be stubborn. I feel you being stubborn. Close your eyes and let me just pick. Breathe. Stop being so tense. Relax those shoulders. And let me give you some of my good vibes. My love, my good energy, my hugs. And let it just wash over you. Okay, let's begin, beautiful. Sit back, relax. Let me know what you guys are doing. If you guys are driving anywhere, if you guys are cooking anything, if you guys are watching me with a friend, if you guys are cleaning, if you guys are working, let me know all down below. You guys know. I love to be all up in y'all chase All right, let's get to it. Boom. Chicka bing, 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 chicka bing, chicka bing, bing, bing. Look what I got. <laughs> ColourPop sent this. This is not sponsored. I just want to show you guys because I am so freaking excited. I thought it'd be so cool to do a look with each palette in here. Like, look at this. I'm scared to like flip it how I want because it has openings. Mira. Look how cool. I'm a I seen this color though, and I was like, hello. I want to try that one. I love gray. I love gray. I want to play with it so bad because of this color right here. Like it just looks so gorgeous where I'm like, yes, bitch. We are doing a look with that. All right, let's get started. So we get dropped off. Me and Skillet are hugging. It's seriously such an intense moment where nothing feels real, and I keep feeling like something very traumatic happened. Of course, something did very, very traumatic happen. It is a huge thing. But in my mind, I kept feeling like I wasn't there. I kept feeling like something worse happened and I wasn't really there. I felt like I was, if you catch my drift, I really feel like that. And a lot of crazy moments in my life, crazier than what had happened, I always feel like, am I really here? Am I really still here? 
or am I in la la land and my brain is just protecting itself and then I'm gonna wake up like in 30 years and it's like surprise bitch your brain has just been protecting itself and then someone said the magic words and you woke up and now you are in this state like my mind was just like just going crazy I felt like this isn't real this isn't real and we just go inside now I'm not going to go too much detail with Skillet's life or anything like that out of respect. I'm just going to tell you guys the key points and the drama that happened with me and her because we ended up squaring the f up and it was crazy. It went from like, it always felt like a domino effect. I always felt like and it was just so hard to just not like want to run away and not look back. Like I wanted to run away so many times that it literally pisses me off because I'm like, what if you would have, huh? What if you would have? That would have been an adventure. Why did we not go on that adventure, Lex? So we go inside and we are greeted by one of her cousins. We will name this cousin Coffee, okay? Because being around this bitch always made me want to because she always came with drama. She was always stirring the pot and she really hated that me and Skillet were like this. And even though me and Skillet have been through some shit, okay? Coffee would always wanna be in the mix and be like, I would never, I would never have a friend around me that did this, that, and that. Cool story. Cool story, bro. Cool story. Get get us. Like she was constantly instigating that I could never, mm -mm, I could never. And it wasn't the first, fourth, fifth time that she has instigated fights between me and Skillet. Like it was bad. She was like, celosa. And she always would be like playing both sides. She was either on her side or she was on my side. And she would always be like, it's cause I'm a realist. Cause I'm a real one. No bitch, you're just an instigator. That's just what you are. You're crusty, dusty, and musty, and you're just an instigator. And you are just lonely. That's what you are. You're just lonely and you got nothing better going on. So you just stir the pot because you want to have the attention on you so badly. You want to be the captain save a hoe because you can't save yourself, bitch. And that's just what it was. And I could, I could see through her so good. And it would irritate Skillet that I could see through her. And she'd be like, well, that's my family. I don't know what she tell you. And it's all cool and it's all good. That's your family. That's cool. I got some like kids in my family too. Ain't nothing. It's cool. I just didn't like how she would get upset that I could see through it. And then like later on when it was beneficial to Skillet, she'd be like, bitch, you were right. I know the f I was. I know you're just stubborn. Like you just was. So coffee's there. She sees that we're a little like, you know, cause what just happened? It was very like serious, you know? She sees that we kind of look a little off and she wants to know the cheese man. Oh my God, what happened? Y'all are crazy. You guys are always doing shit you're not supposed to. Oh my God. Like, okay. She was 30 and still was trying to be one of us 13, 14 year olds so bad. And I felt like because she grew up so quickly that she was trying to like still be in the 13, 14, which is cool. You know, you can be young at heart, but I feel like you don't got to be messy with it. And she was messy with it. And that's what bothered me. So I already didn't like coffee from the get from like, ugh. she instigated things between me and Skillet a while ago. I was inside years ago. And I just didn't like her. I just didn't like how she moved. I didn't like how messy she was. So my guard was already up with her. So before Skillet could even talk about like what happened, I just nipped it and said, oh, nothing, nothing. It was nothing. And me and her go straight to the restroom, me and Skillet. We go straight to the restroom and I can hear coffee just bitching and moaning of like, you don't gotta tell me anything, but don't be asking me for no favor. Bitch, ain't even nobody asking me for no favors. Like nobody asked this bitch for favors, nobody. I didn't give a damn to ask her for nothing. She was always on my ass and I never asked her for nothing. And then if I did, it's because she was like bugging and she wanted to make some money to like make a run or whatever. But it was never like me asking her. So I really hated when she would constantly try and say that. It was just like, shut up. So we go to the restroom. I end up taking a shower 
and Skillet is just there on the toilet seat, just waiting. We take our turns, go back and forth. She takes one, I take one. It was nothing. That's just like how me and her were. She went, I went, and we would just keep each other company. And we kind of talk about like what happened. That's crazy. She thinks that he did come off a little bit strong, but she says that she doesn't think anything would 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 have happened. That he was just trying to probably try match my energy. I get kind of upset with her, and I tell her like, no, that's not what it was. If it wasn't for your dude saying anything, I feel like he would have went further because he was hecka pinching my thigh and I keep telling her and then we finally just come to um we can agree to disagree because she thinks since I had attitude that it was going to be hard for me to find someone to to like put me in my place and I didn't like that she had that kind of mindset because it's like she was worse than me sometimes and I would I just like didn't understand it. And so we were kind of like being bitchy towards each other because I didn't like her attitude, she didn't like mine. And I was just kind of confused. And so I tell her like, do you want me to apologize to him or something? Like, I feel like the way I reacted and you dude reacted was the same. And she's like, oh, so now you like my dude. No, it's nothing like that, Scala. Like, chill the fuck out, it's nothing like that. Like, no, like what are you talking about? So we are literally getting into an argument again with our fool like you're so stupid for that fool like we sound so dumb we sound so dumb and there was a funny comment someone's like i don't want to hear you talk how you used to like in your gangster ways like i'm not subscribed to this girl i am not going to change how i want to tell my story stop it so anyways we're talking to each other all kinds of stupid she's getting dressed i'm getting dressed we're like done taking our showers and we go into this room that she had. We put our stuff there. We go outside. We have our cigarette. And we are still bickering at, it, bickering at each other. Because I am mad that she sees it that way. Because I'm like, so you think I'm wrong? I'm not saying you're wrong. I just don't like the way you handled it. So it kind of felt like I was damned if I did and damned if I doesn't. Damn if I didn't with the answers I was giving her like it seemed like she wanted to be mad at me But she didn't know what to be mad at me about so I really hated when skillet would kind of get this like upset with me Because I wanted to fix it. I didn't want to lose her and I didn't want Anyone or anything to become between our relationship So I was like literally like on my third cigarette and I was like no like explain it to me Like explain to me like what I did wrong and she was telling me like my attitude I was like punking on him and I was like it was vice versa like it, he was doing the same too like we were going like you know like we were like being like like that with each other like it's gross like i don't i don't want that and so i asked her like you just wanted me just to sit there and like take it and she said like no i'm not saying like in those words but like i feel like if you weren't such a bitch to him maybe he wouldn't have re he wouldn't have acted like the way he acted so i tell her like you got something for ego like do you like him like you're mad that i hurt his feelings like i don't understand like i'm pretty sure like he's good it, I wasn't understanding like what was going on. It was irritating me. Coffee comes out, lights her cigarette because she wants to be all up in the mix because she can see that we're we're getting we're being pretty loud. Like we're being pretty loud because I am upset because it made me feel like then why did you hug me then? Like why did you hug me? I thought like we were on the same page. Like oh my god that was so scary. Like why did you hug me? So coffee comes out. I'm upset where like I'm even like bombing up in my eyes and I don't really cry often okay I don't and I feel like I wanted to get coffee's input in it but I knew if I brought coffee into it it was just going to make like a bigger issue between me and Skillet because that's her fam not my fam and I didn't want her to feel like I was overstepping in any way anyway I never wanted her to feel like I was overstepping lights up she's like so what you guys bickering her about now you guys are like cats and dogs. I'm like, nothing. Oh, it's, it's not a big problem. Skillet goes, okay, if it's not, then go to bed. And I'm just like so irritated because I don't like being told what to do. I don't like being told what to do. I feel like now she was like trying to act a little bit more rowdy because coffee was out here. And long ago when me and Skillet have gotten into it, coffee has gotten into it to like pull me off or pull Skillet off. But I always felt like it was two against one. So I was like, okay. So I just go inside and I ask them, like, I can, like, go in the room then, right? Because, like, they had a whole situation I'm not going to go into. And I just wanted to make sure, like, you said I could do this, right? And Skillet's like, yeah, like, annoyed. I see that her phone is ringing and she answered it. She goes, hey, hey babe. So I'm like, okay, she's talking to her dude. Hopefully he can calm her down because, like, the f***. So I go inside and I'm just chilling. 
in the room and I'm just trying to process pretty much everything because I just feel like I'm doing so much wrong and I just want it to go right. I just want it to go right. Whether it be with skillet or with the ex, like I just want it to be right. I just want things to be good and I can have that like hot chick, how that girl is just like in the movies and how she like has everything going for her. She has her friends and like she just seems like happy and I just want that. I want that fairy tale junior high, high school, like, oh yeah, like everything's going good and there's no drama. Like I wanted to have that so bad. So I pray. I like really pray because I don't want to be miserable to be led on the right path because I don't want my boyfriend to be upset with me. I don't want my best friend to be upset with me. I just want to be happy. Like I honestly just want to be happy. A couple a couple minutes go by and coffee, I can hear her come in because she makes an entrance and she goes, yo Lex. I'm like, what's up outside the door? Cause I can see, I can see her, but I, I don't want to get up. Like I don't, I don't know how to explain to you guys. Like this, <laughs> this lady came with drama, like drama. Like it, 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 it just rubbed me wrong. So I tell her like, what's up? And she tells me, get out of here. And I get kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. Like my anxiety kicks in and I'm like, damn, I feel like I've had like an eventful day already. Like, oh my God. And so I'm like, all right, give me a second. Act like I'm doing something with my shoes and I'm really not doing something with my shoes. I'm just like trying to like waste time and I'm really hoping that she'd be like, okay, never mind. And she asks me, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm just tying my shoe. All right, hurry up. I'm like, okay. I go out there and <laughs> I'm not even wearing shoes. Like I put my socks on, took my shoes off, put my socks on, put, took my shoes off. Like I was just fidgeting and she's like, where's your shoes? And I'm like, they're back. What's up? Cause I'm like, I don't even want to go into her. I don't even want to go into it with like, um, I was trying to stall. So what's up? So I go out there and coffee breath is like, so what's going on between you two? She's trying to act like the adult, but I know she's just being a cheese mosa fea. And I'm like, nothing. And she's like, I didn't ask you that. I said, what's going on between you two? And I'm like, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna ask you for the third time and you won't have anywhere to sleep if you wanna act like that. So I tell her, like, it's just like boy drama. Like I was mean to one of her friends and she didn't like how I acted. And she's like, that's why? I'm like, yeah, like that's literally the only thing why. Man, I don't know why she's like that. I don't know why she always chooses the boys over the girls. And I didn't wanna sit there and be like, right? Her, I, uh-uh. I, 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 I knew all her tricks. I knew them and I knew them good because I know coffee breath and that's just how she, <laughs> that's just how she eats. That's just how she eats. And she goes, well, homeboy was it? And I'm like, ego, like I, you know, cause I'm like frustrated and I, I don't want to give her too much, but I just give her just so like, she like doesn't start anything. And she's like, you guys gotta go somewhere else to go. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna hear it. What the hell are you doing hanging out with that creep? And I was like, oh, he was just there at the like the kickback, whatever. Cause like I knew like, oh, shit. <gasps> oh, shit. like they knew Skillet dated older guys. They honestly like did not care. But like I I don't know what ego was into or or, or what whatever. You know I don't I can't give that for y'all. So I'm like, mm. Skillet comes in and she's like, I thought you were going to bed. I was like, oh, cause you told me to, huh? And so I'm like mad because it's just like you're not my dad. <laughs> you're not my dad, bitch. And it really just felt like she was just trying to like. Put me in my place and I just wasn't, I wasn't for it. I was like, mm -mm, you got me so f up right now. So even coffee tells her like, chill, like you're doing too much, like stop. They kind of have like their little like stare down for a moment and Skillet goes like, we need to talk. I'm like, all right. I'm thinking I'm in trouble because of her, like her attitude, like we need to talk. We go into the room, she closes the door, she locks it and she's like, I owe you an apology. Right here, the little people in my brain start working and they're like, mm. he probably told her like, you're wrong or like, no, or he probably apologized on his homie's behalf and ding, 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 ding. Oh, this is right for 200 bucks, for 200 bucks. <sighs> so I'm like, about what? And she tells me that Aaron back was telling her that like, he's sorry for his friend, how he acted and that I look hella uncomfortable and he don't want no problems. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna do a little spoiler. 
fast forward hearing back i guess knew that i looked familiar 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 i don't know why i do this i just like doing it that i look very familiar and i think he was just trying to cover his ass because he probably like knew my mom and was like hmm she looks like so-and-so's daughter or like hmm she looks like so-and-so's cousin hmm she looks like so-and-so's kid like i don't know what he did but he covered his ass because fast forward in the future we see an earring back at a family event and his ass was there and it was so awkward but i think he was covering his like tracks whatever whatever so back to the, back to the past <sighs> she was like i didn't mean to like get upset with you i just didn't want to hear it from earring back and like we're at a really good place and stuff and like he helps me with this this that and i didn't know if he was just gonna be like nope i don't want any of the drama but he was just apologizing and like you know he knew ego was wrong for like making you feel like that and he checked him and stuff i was like so mad in here i was so mad because i wanted to be like shut up like shut up because like for the all the times that i have like backed up skillet or like fought with my ex or like whatever it like really would piss me off that like it always felt like even though she would be helpful at times it always felt like she was quick to put the dude in front and then there were some times like i would do it too but i wouldn't scold her the way she would scold me and we just had like a really complicated relationship okay it was just very complicated We've grown up a lot since then, but girl, oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Mm. So we hug, we make up. She says she doesn't want anyone to come between us and that she's sorry. Loves on me. I love on her. Okay, we're good. We knock out. We're freaking exhausted. It's been a long day, like a long day a long night we have gone through it we sleep for like ever which feels like forever i wake up just like out of nowhere where i'm like oh my god like oh i have to text mr peach i wake up it's like one of those things where like you wake up and you're like oh my god i, I gotta do something wake up i go outside i call mr peach he says whatever you have plans for to do today which like he knows i have none do them we are like talking as a family and pretty much letting me know that like take your time i can't get you right now but i'll get you later maybe but that they are just having like a family moment about everything that has happened and i'm like oh i don't need to be part of this meeting and he tries to like say it the nicest way but alex says that's why i said family meeting family but yeah doesn't he always tell me when it's convenient to him your family and so i just swallow it i'm like okay well just text me and he goes yeah just do whatever you were going to do take this time because when you do get back things are going to be a lot different i'm like okay yeah sure we talked about other stuff which is like irrelevant i go back inside and skillet is still cold stone just knocked out slipping slipping like a baby <sighs> So I'm just sitting there, I'm like wide awake, go do whatever I have to do in the restroom, come out and coffee is just sitting there. So who are you talking to? And I'm like, just someone? All right. So what do you guys got planned for today? I'm like, to be honest, I don't even know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Cause like I don't. Cause now I have this free time that I don't know what I'm gonna do with. So I am being like for real. I'm like, oh, I don't know. She's like, all right, well, if you guys need to write anywhere, let me know. I'm like, okay. She acts like she's like, that's like her statement and she's like walking away. She's still sitting there. So I asked her like, is it okay if I get like a bowl of cereal? She goes, yeah, sure, like go ahead. I always ask because like, it's just rude to like make yourself at home when it's not your home, you know? So I wasn't sitting there having breakfast with her Skillet's phone keeps buzzing and I don't know why y'all my stomach started to hurt when I tell y'all oh look at my shirt I wanted to wear like a cute little shirt for you guys but I love Jurassic Park it's my favorite and I got it for a dollar hello my stomach started to hurt and I don't know why it's like just like randomly and I hated that it was starting to hurt Cause I swear it's like my guardian angel 
telling me something and I don't want to listen to. So it starts to hurt and I just continue like to finish like eating. And I make eye contact with coffee. And she kind of just like, you should get that. And I'm like, no, it's her phone. And it wasn't even like a weird request, but my gut was like weirded out. I was like, it's her phone. She was like, yeah, but that's like your bestie, right? Go get it. And I'm like, mm -mm. she's like, go get it. And so I go and get the phone and it's a private number. She's like, answer it. What if it's something important? And I'm like, no, nah, like it's private. I don't know who it is. Maybe it's her boyfriend or something. And she's like, why would he be calling private? I'm like, I don't know. So we're kind of just like, you know, go back and forth. Skillet is like snoring, snoring really loud. Snoring really loud. We get another call coming in, it's private. And I'm just holding it. But like my gut is like hurting. Like I, if I could explain it to you guys, how gut wrenching my stomach felt. Like, I don't know, like the raven in me. What? <laughs> Knew who it was, but I just didn't want to like, you know? And it was just like hurting. And I was just like, and coffee's just looking at me smiling because I know that bitch, uh, that bitch knows. I know she knows. And I know she knows. I know she knows. I know she knows. So the call comes in again and she goes, answer it. And I'm like, I don't want to. I'm like, I don't know, it's just weird. Like, I don't want to. As I'm holding her phone, I'm like, I don't want to. Like, it's weird. She's like, why is it weird? Like, it's your, it's your bestie's phone. I'm like, I don't know. And I'm telling you, coffee is an instigator. And she always says like, I do things with good intentions. Okay. No, you don't. Or who knows? Maybe you guys will see it different. So I'm like, I don't want to answer it. And I was going to wait until like, it was like, at its like 10th, like just to like answer it and for it to be hung up. Right. So I answer it and I could not talk. I could not talk. Oh. Tell me why it's Squidward's voice. Hello? Like he was whispering. And I'm like, hello? Cause I'm like, what the f calling my friend for? So I'm like, hello? Just hangs, hangs up immediately. Now the call came in private. So he, he can be like, what? You're tripping. I didn't blah, blah, blah. You're all on your head. Da, 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 da. I, if you guys know, Skillet and him. Skillet and him had like a little thing for a little while. I forgave her because like I love her and it was just like she was like, oh, it's not, it was nothing serious. Him too. And they kind of just like acted like, ew, you're gross. No, ew, you're gross. He would say that she looks so ugly. She like, I can't believe you're with him. It was constantly like I was in the middle and they were like, they hated each other. And it was just, <sighs> but I knew that there was some type of attraction there to each other. And I always wanted to believe what she was telling me and I always wanted to believe what he was telling me. But I know it was him. I know it was his voice. I know it was him. And I knew that they did talk sometimes because of me, whatever, whenever they wanted to be like, oh yeah, you should check on her, or vice versa, whatever. So it was constantly like, uh, and then I feel like I was just like, maybe too much in my head. Cause I'm like, maybe my phone's dead and that's why he called, but why would he hang? I, it, I, the wheels are spinning. I look up at coffee and she has this big ass grin on her face. Big ass grin in her face, okay? Like she, she knew a lot of the cheese made between me, Skillet, the ex, friends. Like she knew. She would even supply like the alcohol, the rides, the drogas, todo. Like she was a teen in her 30 year old body. <sighs> my throat was like swelling up, swelling up. And my immediate reaction was to go on my phone and I was like, why the acting stupid for? Like I just wrote him. So I was like, why are you acting dumb? Like, what, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So I start attacking him. He's like, you're always popping off. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm at work right now. I was like, lies, the lies. Like, you are a liar. Like, I heard your voice. You are a liar. I didn't go for Skillet because at the end of the day, like, she's my, she's my homie, but like, he's a dude I'm laying up with. So I was like, why are you messaging her? And he's like, what are you even talking about? Completely was writing me like things like, you're stupid, like who are you even talking about? Like it's always something with you. And I was like, no, 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 like don't do that. Like who, why, 
who, what, what, where, and why? Like, why? Like, why are you doing this? He's like, what are you even talking about? Like, oh my God, like, do you just wake up and want to argue? And I'm like, and I was looking at the time, I'm like, oh, he's on break right now. Like, yeah, like it was him. Like, I know it was him. So like, I am just getting like so upset because he's literally making me feel like I'm crazy. To the point, I'm like even contemplating on even apologizing because like, maybe I'm tripping out. So I'm like, coffee already left so i don't i can't even go out there to talk to coffee and be like am i tripping so skill is just like literally just laying on the bed and i just it's taking everything in me to like not want to wake her up and just be like like what is wrong with you because like how she was tripping at me about ego but it's like you over here doing something shady and like you talk so much on sam and like you are her twin like bitch, you guys are a twin you guys are cut in the same cloth so i'm like literally having this argument like in my head and i'm like pissed like I'm livid because I feel like everyone talks so much about the Squidward look at my and it's always like what we were just like talking like I remember even my cousin who was like she would act so disgusted with him like bitch would even act like she was like eh. like she was so grossed out like oh my god oh my god and would li I would literally have to like defend him and like I found like messages between them and like it like really just like mind blown me. So like anytime, anytime everyone and anybody's like, oh he's too ugly, bitch, shut up, shut up, because like ah uh, he probably he ha he ha you at your chonies or something because what happened? I thought he was ugly. Like what? So I was literally just sitting there in panic mode, like in panic mode, because like I was so pissed off. I was so livid, and I had like all these emotions, but at the same time I constantly felt like I was having to play chest in like this and that because she could be like okay bitch get the out. like get the out. or she could be like what you're tripping like what's wrong with you and it was just so annoying because it had me thinking like why the f is she looking down when ego was like i thought she had he had a, a girlfriend why is she looking down are you sure you're his girlfriend because i swear i already met his girlfriend i look at skillet and she can't even look at me she's like because was she the girlfriend and so my mind was just like going like this going like this like i'm literally like just freaking out because i love her so much like i love her so much and i just wanted to have a relationship where i didn't feel like my guard was up like i constantly felt like when am i going to meet somebody where i don't feel like they have ill intentions they're doing something grimy um why do you joke like that like why do you make a joke about that like why are you laughing so hard at that? Like, I constantly felt like I couldn't relax. I couldn't just be chill because it was like too good to be true, you know? And it felt so ugly to like always feel like this. And I felt like where I was so young, where I'm like, damn, ain't nobody real even when we're young. Like, how is it gonna be when we're older? Like, how is it going to be? Like, no wonder why Poppy is a miserable bitch because she's probably still dealing with this kind of stuff. And I'm like, coffee and then i'm thinking like should it be like coffee or like she like just letting me know because she hated the relationship between me and skillet but maybe she was just like low-key look, looking out like i'm just like at this point like i'm just like going through like all these emotions i almost forgot to put on my makeup i'm going through like all these emotions because i am like just like what the like what is going on what is going on so going through like all of that freaking craziness and like being upset my phone rings and it's my mom i swear sometimes even now she calls like at the times where i'm like freaking out and i'm like not knowing what to do i don't know maybe she feels me maybe bruja stuff i don't know but i was like freaking out because i'm gonna be real honest with y'all i didn't want to confront her because i didn't want to lose her it wasn't because like oh i didn't want to lose my spot whatever like staying the night there or like staying with her no i just didn't want to lose her i didn't want to piss her off and i hate that i hate that i would get like that like i hate that like i would want to put myself second i didn't want to make someone feel uncomfortable or i didn't want to upset anybody so i answer and it's my mom and i immediately start crying because i feel like okay what if she called because she could feel me and i just hear in her voice and she's like what's going on uh, i kind of tell her what's going on because she, i have like nobody to talk to about my mom's like oh my god like oh he's not even worth it Alexis. like just stop and 
that grimy bitch so my mom starts getting ghetto going in on her and i'm like don't even talk about her like that like you guys are in the same boat because it really pissed me off how she would be so quick to call everyone out else out and it's like and tu quema like and you what like do like you do but like if anything you the blueprint so i'm fighting with her she's yelling at me and i'm like is this why you called is this why you called like oh like i just wanted to confide in you and this is how you're getting uh oh, it doesn't even matter like he's some stupid like i don't know why you're so attached like we're gonna move we're gonna move and she was just like talking crazy and it was a different kind of talking crazy where i'm like she's about to spiral my mom i know her so well and i was like yep it didn't last too long she about to spiral just because like one how she was talking she didn't sound too depressed and my mom's bipolar so she goes through like these cycles and i i, I knew it was coming so i didn't want to piss her off too much either because I didn't want to go with her. I hated the people my mom hung around with. She hung around like some crazy crackheads and I didn't want to be part of it. I didn't want to I didn't want to risk my life with her on that level because my mom has gone through my mom could write a book with like all the crazy stuff that would happen and todavía she was still out there in the calle and it was like some crazy stuff where I don't know if I could have survived that. Like it was like really bad. So I just tell her I'm like, mom, like I'll figure it out. <sighs> it doesn't even matter. She asks me where I'm at. And I just tell her like, we're out in the store. Like I'm not even trying to give her too much information. Cause like, I'm not, I'm not trying to hear her. I'm not trying to hear her. I don't want to hear anything. And I get really irritated because she tells me like, oh, like, hold on. Um, and she's talking to my stepdad. I fucking hate it even till this day. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate it when I'm talking to my mom and she talks to whoever she's with and i'm like oh. my therapist tells me it's like oh because like you're traumatized and like because of the stepdad thing whatever and like because all the guys she dates are pieces and like you know whatever but like i i, I can't y'all i gotta be like okay mom i'll call you back later bye i have to hang up on her i hate how i get like it's just like oh so i hated oh that's someone screaming I hated how like I would be talking to her and she would be like answering him and I'd be like why did you even call me because like had the conversation and I have to like be put on hold because you're talking to him and I don't want to hear his voice and so I like try to hang up on her as soon as she starts talking to him I'm like hey bye mom and she's like don't make it with me and she starts popping off on me and I'm like like why are you calling me for like why are you calling me for so we kind of get into it I'm fighting with her and I guess where I was getting really loud it woke up skillet how ironic that's why you wake up okay so i'm like fighting with my mom outside and she's like telling me like to quit my attitude that i think i'm like a little badass and stuff that like she's gonna humble me and i'm like okay okay like i don't know what to tell you like you think you sound cool talking to me like that so i'm like fighting with her stupidly like for real i don't know why i would even fight with her because like i was well lux you know why i was young and i would let my mom get the best of me there was a lot of footage that I put in the vlogs for you guys I've taken them down because I hate listening to them where like me and my mom would get into it and we would talk so nasty to each other so I was like I'm gonna record it so she could see because she swears that she doesn't say this and that and ugh, it was just so like nasty like how we would like talk to each other and she would get a reaction out of me and like now she doesn't get that type of reaction like I'm just like okay mom bye like I I, I, I can't I can't because it takes so much from your soul. Like literally I will be drained. Like I will need to be in bed, call it dramatic, but I will literally have to like lay up in bed and like, I just feel drained. Like my soul feels drained. So I ended up fighting with her, crying with to her. Like, why are you like this? And like arguing with her and my mom ends up hanging up on me because she can't do it. Because if it's not him, it's me. And I'm like him. And so as soon as I say that, she hangs up and i'm about to go inside because i'm going to get a cigarette because it's a dramatic moment alexis you need a cigarette and as i'm going inside skillet's right there she's like what's going on she looks so concerned and i just kind of look at her for a minute because i adore her and i'm just so hurt like how can you do this to me like how can you do this to me and i just tell her like you know like my mom and stuff and she's like 
dude, like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know why she doesn't get it. And, like, honestly, I'm just, like, all I hear is, because she's telling me, like, I deserve better. Like, I can't believe she's like that with you. And all I can think about is, like, what are y'all talking about? Why is he calling you private? What's going on? So I'm not hearing her. All I'm hearing is, wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. Coffee comes behind her and it's just freaking cheesing. Cheesing hard and offers us a cigarette. And I'm like, oh yeah, thanks. So I get the cigarette from her. We have our little cigarettes and Skilla is like, so what you trying to do today? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm thinking of like dipping in a little bit or like you want you want to do something i'm trying to play it so cool i'm trying to play it so cool and coffee is just like smiling because she she knows she knows and i'm trying not to pop off i'm trying not to pop off because i don't want to fight with skilly i don't want to fight with her i don't want to lose her and i'm just like oh i'm just like fighting with myself like it's just a lot she goes, well, like, if you're up to it, like, Aaron Bag said he can, like, take us out to, like, have breakfast and stuff. And before I can say, like, no, I'm good, she's like, Ego's not going to be there. Like, it's just going to be, like, three of us. Like, like, we should go. Like, we'll get some breakfast. And I'm like, all right. You're like, yeah, like, okay. I was like, you guys don't want to do your own thing? She's like, no. What the, like, that's why I'm calling you. Like, let's go. Like, he's going to take us to the store. He was going to take us to, like, he was going to take her to, like, Spencer's Hot Topic and stuff like that and like give her a little shopping spring because like he's a sugar daddy whatever and so i was like oh okay yeah i bet and i just keep looking at coffee and she's just like so who was calling you earlier and oh, skill is that what you mean like someone was calling me she's like yeah someone was calling calling you alexis grabbed your phone and skill looks at me she's like grab my phone i was like yeah i was going off coffee was like go get it to see who was calling you maybe it was your boo and she was like oh who was it and i was like it was private her eyes get kind of big and she's like private and i'm like yeah she's like that's weird and i'm like yeah she's like oh did you answer i'm like yeah she's like who is it and i'm like squidward like, what i was like yeah she's like oh that's crazy turns off her cigarette and goes inside like just avoids any further conversation what about it and i'm like so i take i i, I throw my cigarette on the, on the floor because i was like when you talk about this and so i go inside and she's like so you're gonna get ready and i'm like yeah but like what was what calling you she's like girl i don't know me because like i have you and i'm like did you tell me you're getting me she's like i don't even remember uh so which one are you trying to go to you trying to go to this one you're trying to go to that one because we got two malls and i was like so like does he call you like on the regular or something she was like no like and if and if he does she's like what's the problem with it i was like the problem with it like that's my dude like what you mean like what's the problem with it she's like you're reading way too much into it like stop being funny i was like no one's hee-hawing over here like i'm not being funny so i was getting irritated because i feel like she was just like brushing me off like oh it's no biggie like why are you tripping and i'm like there's a good reason to be tripping because you over here like you like my man when he was earring back you know so i was like i'm not tripping i just want to know like how often you guys talk or what because like i'm not trying to be out here looking like a clown and she's like no one's making you look like a clown like you're tripping you're overthinking it I don't know why he even called. He probably was just trying to get a hold of you. And I was like, but as soon as he heard my voice, he hung up. She was like, I don't know. That's weird. You got to take that up with him, not with me. And I was like, I will take it up with him. But I'm asking you. And she's like, you're reading so much into it. If you want, here's my phone. And I hate when people go, here's my phone. Here's my phone. Here's my phone. Because, like, it, it's, it's going to be a situation. It's going to be a situation. You're going to look stupid going through it because either you're gonna find something you're gonna look really hard or you're not gonna find anything it, 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 it's just gonna be a whole shebang like a whole 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 whole, whole shebang and i'm like no i don't want to have to go through your phone she's like all right then then drop it then like you're tripping for no reason and i'm not even trying to argue with you this early in the morning and she's like and if i was like messing with you dude like why would i go and get you and i was like i don't know like i'm trying to like figure it out myself like i don't know she's like you're you're just bugging and i'm like okay i was really just trying to let it go i was really trying to let it go but my stomach was like don't let it go don't let it go don't let it go so we ended up getting ready she's telling me to like that i don't got to do like the full shebang which is just eyeliner freaking mascara and like lip gloss like honestly and so i'm like okay i'll just go looking like a naked mole rat 
And it would make me so mad where she would be like, don't do all this, whatever. And then when I would tell her, like, don't dress like this in front of the ex, she was quick to put on some booty shorts and be like, so he can't control himself. <laughs> so it would just, it, we got love for each other, but it was just, we were toxic at times with ourselves, with each other. She's telling me that like, um, he's going to be here in a certain amount of time. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm like sitting outside like a Nick and Mole rat and coffee is like... So we all go in. Oh, we're gonna go here. She's like, oh, okay. Well, like later on, there's gonna be like a little kickback and stuff here at the, the house. We're gonna have so-and-so over. They're gonna have like a party. And Skillet is like, okay, cool. We'll be back in time for, for, for it and stuff. Like we're not gonna be like gone long. She's like, all right, but we get picked up and it's just airing back. He is like trying to include me like in the conversation like they'll be talking about something and he'll be like so what you think alexis and i'd be like huh and he's like yeah like what you think about it whatever and i'm like oh yeah like it's cool like he was trying to like be like a cool boyfriend and like include like the bestie but like i was just like so in my head because i was so irritated of like how our combo went so we go into like Spencer's and honestly, he looks like he's our freaking dad walking with us in the store and they're not holding hands or anything because they knew, they knew like someone was, someone was going to be like, what are y'all doing? Like, what is this creep doing holding your hand? But we're going into the store. She's getting some things. He like asks me if I want anything, Skillet looks at me and I already know, like, I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, I want this. I, I, I know, I know I'm going to say no. And so I'm like, oh no, like I'm good. And he's like, are you sure? Like, go ahead, get something. Like whoever my girl's like friends are, like I got them too. And I'm like, no, I'm good. I don't want anything. And Skillet's like, are you sure? Trying to be a little fakey and be like, get something. But I know damn well if I got something, she would have been like, the fuck you doing bitch, you know? But I was like, no, I'm good. Like I don't want anything. He's like, for sure, for sure. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I should have because he held us where the shit. But I was like, no, I'm good. Cause like my cabeza, I'm still like, what's going on? What's going on? So we go to a store and she wants to try on these pants and he's telling her like, here, I'll hold your backs and all that. And I go in there in the changing room with her because that's just what we do. Like we just go in there together. I don't want to be out there with freaking ball sack. So I go into the changing room with her. She's changing and her phone is right there. And this bitch flips it. So like I can't even see like the little small screen on like the razor phone and like flips it and I am just like like I know something's up like I know something's up I feel weird I'm not even acting like myself with her like how I normally would and like I know she peeps it like I know she sees it I know she feels it and it's just like super weird between us because <laughs> I'm just I want to know i want to know and she's changing she's like getting in a better mood like why are you being weird as like you're reading way too much into it like it's not even that deep he just probably wanted to call and then he heard your voice probably knows how you're gonna react and i'm like i would have reacted perfectly fine if you would have been like oh hey so like you are with her it would have been cool it would have been cool i would have reacted fine and she's trying to tell me that like it's not a big deal that if I want to go through her phone to grab it. Now, she's still changing and goes out, shows him like these ones. He's like, yeah. Okay, so what did she just say? I want to go through her phone to grab it. I grab it and I go out. I go out and she goes back in to, to change, to put on her clothes. I'm going through her phone. He's sitting right next to me. He's not even putting two and two together. He's like in his own little world. Like she's changing, you know, he's, he's being a dad, whatever. And I'm going through like every single message that I possibly can. Every single message. I don't see anything. As she's changing, she comes out and she's like, why do you have my phone? Like, gets mad. And I'm like, you said I can go through it. And he kind of like starts to like laugh because like it seems like it's like an uncomfortable laugh. And she's like, wow, it's like that? And I'm like, well, why did you offer if it's not like that? And we kind of have like our little bickering moment again. 
She's like, I thought you trusted me. I was like, I do. I just want to double check just so that my gut can relax. You know what? You're doing too much. Like, I want to go home. Like, I don't want, because we were supposed to go to the movies. Like, he was going to, like, take us out and, like, have a, have a day with us. And so now she's mad. He's telling her, babe, calm down. Like, why are you getting mad like that? Like, you said she can go through it. Like, why are you trying to hide? And she's like, nothing. I just don't like how she's going through my phone. He asks me, like, why are you going through her phone? And I'm like, because my dude called her phone and he's like why did she why did he call your phone like he's talking to us like if we were his daughters and he was like and how do you feel about that and like why was he doing that she's like it's no it's no biggie like he was so like whooped around her that like he wasn't even trying to like argue with her about like why why he called and so he tells me like no like go through it and see if there's anything like i doubt there's anything like i believe what she says and she's like it sucks that he believes me, but you don't believe me. And she's like getting all mad. I can't find anything, okay? I can't find anything. I put his number in there because you know how you put the number in there? Like it'll show up the thing. Like it's this person's contact, okay? So I do that and he's put under like a letter, a letter. And I'm like, just a letter, bitch, just a letter. So I text it and I say, hey, okay? Within quickness, bitch, he replies, hey, with a smiley face. That made me just like, ugh, like my insides just went up there and just like twisted because why are you replying hey like that? Like, what? <sighs> She's done changing. She snatches the freaking phone out of my hand and she like tells me that like I do too much. And I'm like, I do too much. So I'm literally after her, like a freaking puppy asking her, to like let me reply and he her dude is just following us behind not really paying mind to it because he probably doesn't care because he probably is like oh if i say anything i won't get to like have her anymore i don't know their relationship was so freaking weird sometimes because they were together for a minute i follow up behind her and i'm like let me reply like why do you keep replying like that she's like i don't know because i said hey he probably thinks it's you like stop like you're doing too much like you're freaking out like quit so i text him hey he don't reply to me he don't reply to me he don't say nothing to me and i'm like okay like what the f we're walking through the mall she gets so annoyed and she grabs the phone and she's like here do whatever you gotta do with it but like i'm not doing anything like do whatever you gotta do with it like i hate how you get and she's like really 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 making me feel like i'm crazy for like how she's reacting you know and so i text back like what are you doing and he calls like he calls and i'm like oh can't talk right now he has a nerve to say who who really is this like why are you messaging like this and i'm like okay like i'm caught whatever so i get back to her i don't even say nothing she doesn't say nothing to me and like, i got message him i'm like hey like are you busy and he's like why do you why do you keep playing super games and i'm like how am i playing super games so literally he's fighting with me and he's like i hate like these immature games like why are you playing like immature games and i'm like no i'm not like what are you talking about he's like where are you at right now and i tell him like i'm at the mall he's like with who i was like my mom where are you at right now like for real and i was like the mall a picture like i'm at the mall and he's like why are you playing stupid games like i'm like i'm not playing stupid games like why are you playing stupid games so i'm literally asking him questions he's not responding to the messages freaking skillet is over here like you're thinking too much like you're in your head too much like stop and i'm like nah dude like you're doing grimy they end up going to the movies together because i'm too mad to go and I didn't want to like interrupt like their movie time, whatever. And I just literally like walked around the freaking mall for like an hour, two hours by myself, freaking fighting with this dude because I wanted him just to admit to me that he was like doing something with my friend. And he's like, no, I'm not like you're tripping. She messaged me. I said, hey, that was it. Like you're reading too much into it. So like pretty much we're saying like the both same thing. And I'm like, she's probably telling him right now what to text me because it just sounded like he had a way of talking and it was just like weird like it wasn't it wasn't aligning with the way that he usually talks to me so i was literally like freaking out in my head and i was just like you know what okay i was like my like i'm sorry my bad for like <sighs> i get so mad i wish i could go back in time i wish i can go back in time i wish i could go back in time and just mm, just be like bang because the way this dude lied to me and the way I just ate it up because I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to get mad and I wanted him to like fight for me. But like the way this dude just made me feel crazy all the f 
time. And I was valid with why I would feel fucking crazy all the time. So now the tables are flipped. He's mad at me for blaming or for, assu for assuming that he would do that to me. And now Skillet is mad at me for assuming that I would do that to her. And now everyone is just upset with me. The only one who's being nice to me is earring back. And I am just like dumbfounded where I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So we ended up going back to her place because we've been out for a while. She got things to put away and coffee was going to have her little kickback. So as we're going back, I'm sitting in the back and I'm just quiet and I could just feel Skillet's like vibe and I'm like, oh, she's like mad at me and I just feel weird. Hearing back is like, y'all good? Like he keeps giving us the same speech. Like don't let nobody come between y'all, blah, blah, blah. And I just don't want to hear it. I just don't want to hear it. Like, dude, I'm over it. Like, don't give me your freaking speech when you're over here doing cochinos with my friend. Like, no, like don't, like I don't want to hear it like at all. I don't want to hear it. So we go back and it's not that dark. It's getting, it's late, but it's not that dark. I call Mr. Peach. He's telling me like, continue to do what I'm going to do for the rest of the day that they're still having like the little family meetings and like talking about things and like where I'm going to stay and all that and just to give them time and I'm like okay all right because I feel like if I don't leave like me and Skillet are going to argue again and I'm just I don't want to lose her like I keep saying it but like I really don't want to lose her because like I love her so I don't want to I don't want to like go i don't want anything to go bad between me and her so we go back to the room and we're like not talking she's like super annoyed with me you can just tell and i am trying to do small talk with her but it's like not working and i'm like fighting with myself because i'm like why is she mad like why is she acting like she's the one who is supposed to be mad because i know damn well if i was talking to one of her little cholitos she would like lose her lose it even when any of them had like any interest in me she would like shut it down quickly so i was just in my head annoyed because i didn't i wanted to leave but i didn't want to leave us upset at each other because we could go for a while not talking so i'm making small talk with her trying my hardest and she just keeps like answering it but like very short and very rude so she asks me like in the nicest way that she possibly can at the moment that what was i gonna do if i was gonna stay that like whatever i'm gonna do she's cool with just to let her know and i was like well like do you want me to stay she's like yeah and i'm like okay cool like then i'm gonna stay and she's like okay with like a smile we're kind of getting over it we have like these little bitch drinks and we are drinking with coffee before like the party gets started we're feeling like a little buzz and i'm making sure not to get like too drunk like belligerent because again i need to be like self-aware of like what's going on everything because you just never freaking know what could go wrong so i'm kind of just like vibing with her like it's no biggie dancing everyone's doing their thing me and skiller are dancing because anytime like there's a party and she's like me and her like that is my girlfriend that's my girlfriend that's my boo that's my boo thing all the time I noticed that there's this person that I've seen like in previous like little kickbacks and stuff. He's pretty cool. He is boy. Okay, that's what I thought when I was young. Boy, I was boy. And he kept like looking at me. I was like looking at him. I see you, you see me. And he comes over and he talks and he's like, yo, what's up? Like, what's your name? And I tell him my name. As soon as I start talking to him, Skillet like, comes over and hugs him. But you know, like there's hugs. There's hugs and then there's 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 hugs. So as soon as she gave him that hug, I was like, oh, okay. Introduces us. Oh, this is so and so. Okay, cool. We start talking for a little bit. Skillet goes and gets earring because earrings here. Earring comes in. Everyone is doing like their own thing, and I am just talking to. We'll name this guy Tyson. Tyson is like, oh, so haven't seen you around. It's been a minute, and I'm like, yeah. I yeah, I know. And so he's asking me if I'm still with Squidward. I'm like, yes. He's like, that's unfortunate. I'm like, I know. <laughs> Just being a little like flirty, but not too much. He starts asking about Skillet, like how long have her and Earring back been together? And I'm like, um, I'm not sure, but like they definitely a thing. And he's like, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. 
nothing. It was innocent. We were laughing. We were talking. He ha he ha. And I look over because I could feel ojos like into me. And I'm like, okay. I look at Skilly and she's like, come here, come here. Like she's mad. So I'm like, okay. So I go over there and I let her know. I'm like, hey, are you Tyson something? She's like, no. I'm like, okay, then why are you call me over? Cause like, I know if that's what it was. I know that's what it was. And she's like, no, like, I don't even like him like that. Like, what are you talking about? I hated how this girl could just not just tell me, like, just tell me because it was just so annoying. Cause it was always like, like, oh, whatever so she's like i want to talk to you and i'm like okay like about what she's like let's just go to the room so i'm like okay so we go to the room i feel like honestly she was just trying to get me away from tyson but it was whatever because i wasn't going to do anything with tyson because he was like uh that he was the definition of f boy so we go to the room and she's just apologizing to me that like she, her and my ex they would talk but it was nothing like how i'm trying to make it how i'm trying to make it seem i'm like i'm not trying to make it seem like nothing it's the way you guys were acting and so she like tells me like they do talk sometimes but like sometimes it's just about me and that they can relate on some things and i'm like relate on what like what like what could you guys relate on and she's like things that like i can't even talk to you about and i'm like oh hell no like you're supposed to be like my best friend like i'm supposed to know everything she's like you can't possibly know everything about me alexis and so she was kind of making me feel some way where i was like damn like what could he possibly be talking to her about that like i don't even know about him and like they can come together and talk about it i don't know like so i was really i wasn't even like you're lying i was just feeling like i felt like like what is it what is it because she was sometimes was very secretive like it she had walls up so i kind of wanted to believe that versus them like doing some grimy dirty shit whatever. so i was like okay so why'd he call private she's like i don't know i don't know why he even called private like i don't he, he was doing the most like he probably knows that you're with me so you probably call private and her story kind of seemed believable and that she wouldn't do me like that and that just to like trust and believe her when she says that like they're not doing nothing like all they do is just talk and then sometimes when I'm going through it they kind of like talk about like how to like help me out or he's checking in on me through her when we're fighting I don't know so I was like okay like I'll believe it whatever we hug and like I asked her again I'm like so like you and Tyson thing, she's like, no, but like, why are you trying to go after like an F boy? Like you're better than that. And I'm like, shut up. So we go out and earring back is talking to Tyson. And so we go over there. She takes earring back. He's about to leave. So she's going to go say her goodbyes. And me and Tyson go to the back because I'm going to smoke a cigarette. He tries to tell me like, oh, that's nasty. I don't like that when girls do that. And I was like, well, good thing I'm not your girl. Like you're just going to keep me company because like whatever's going on so we're going back and coffee sees me and tyson and she comes over because she is just an instigator comes over and she's like oh what are you guys doing and i'm like nothing just having a cigarette so we're just talking no biggie just having like a little kickback whatever just smoking and i hate i hate where it feels like I know you guys, because I have mentioned this before and a lot of you guys have said like, Alexis, it's a panic attack, it's a panic attack. I hate when it feels like I can't listen to what's going on because like I, my body, it like shuts off. I don't know what the f it's called. You guys say it's anxiety. I hate how it shuts off. I hate how it goes into protective mode because like I don't feel in danger in that moment so i'm like why is this happening it's like your battery is just going low and you don't even know like i don't even get no no warning no like 10 seconds no nothing i can't understand what's going on and me tyson coffee and skillet and we're all just like conversing and just talking about like a bunch of nothing and squidward would do some really really sketchy things and he could get stuff for people sometimes well, there is another person that comes into like the mix and is talking to Skillet and they're just kind of like conversing and stuff and brings up like, hey, like you think you can hit up that friend again? And as soon as like that starts happening, I could, I felt like I was just like, wah, 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 like going through this like little like, wah, 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 wah. And I look over and I'm like trying to hear what she's saying, but I can't put it together. Like I hate that my body does that. It feels like it's just like going on like autopilot. It's, it just, I don't know how to like function. She thinks I hear what they were talking about, but I did not. I was just like, I heard like snips and bits, but it wasn't all together. I don't know why I was going to panic mode. I don't know why my brain does that. Like I really hate when like that happens. Like it's just so, it's just so weird to me because I felt like I wasn't even panicking at that moment. 
I don't know, maybe I drink more than what I thought. So I just go inside, coffee starts laughing and I wanna turn around so bad and be like, what the f are you laughing for, bitch? Like what the f is so funny, you old raggedy bitch? 30's not old, I, I was younger than her. So like, of course I'm gonna like throw a diss like that, right? So I go inside and I'm sitting on the couch and I literally just plop myself between like a bunch of boys, like literally a bunch of boys trying to I don't know. I don't know what was going on. Like, I don't know what I was trying to go through, but I just remember sitting between like all those boys and I was just like, uh, and they start trying to talk to me and they're just like, you know, like trying to make conversation. Like, oh, who are you? Like, who, who are you friends with? And I'm like, skillet. And I'm just like going through like my own thing and they get upset with me because like I'm responding very bitchy. Like I was always labeled as that bitch, her attitude, think she's too good and it's not i was just going through my own sh i wasn't trying to add like him any hollywood with anybody you know what i mean so i'm sitting there annoyed skillet comes in she's like oh Alexis. i hate being called that so i'm like what <laughs> my name so i'm like what because like i don't even know what's going on but i know that like my fight or flight kicked in so like something's about to happen right and she's like if you're gonna have an attitude you don't gotta stay here i don't know why you're doing all this and i'm like doing all what like i just came to come sit down i didn't hear what they were like talking about but i knew it had something to do with squidward i just couldn't function like i didn't know what was going on i was just like <sighs> i don't know what was going on i'm like what i'm like you're bugging dude and she's like no you're bugging i'm getting real tired of attitude and i just look up at her and i'm like i don't know who the f you're talking to but i know it ain't me bitch so okay i'm not saying like skillet was like scared of me but i felt like she always wanted to get rah 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 when there was an audience at times you know what i mean like there was times where like she wouldn't but like a lot of the times like we would get she would get more rah 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 when there was people around to like hold us back because i feel like she secretly did, we didn't want to like hit me you know but she was getting louder i'm like dude i'm not gonna try and do this all with you she's like that's what i thought and so as soon as she said that's what i thought <laughs> my batteries charged up and i was like oh so i got up and i was like or what or what like what you gonna do like you think i give a we're in your house right now. I don't give a f about that. And I was like, handle me. She was like, ah, ah, ah. Like, you're too drunk right now. I'm not going to deal with all that. Like, I don't know what the hell is going through your head. Like, ain't nobody wants your mans. I was like, what? Like, what are you even talking about? So we start, like, arguing with each other. All the boys that are on the, in the sala, in the living room, are like, fight, 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 fight. And so I tell them, I'm like, shut the f up. She's like, stop telling people in my house what to do. I don't know why you always act like you know running. And I'm like, how like how bitch how because i'm what like i just feel like she was just like trying to fight with me coffee comes in coffee's like you guys go fight in your room like we're not gonna do this here i'm not gonna have the cops called like there's a lot of like underage like we're not doing this there's alcohol and so i'm like all right let's go i'm like go like so we can go talk she's like don't tell me where to go in my house and i'm like okay so i'll go first so as i'm going to go first i freaking hit her shoulder and she like pulls my hair and we kind of like do a little like tussling you know everyone's geeked everyone's excited because like we're fighting like fight 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 <sighs> coffee pulls the shit out of my hair to get me off skillet and so i go like that you know it hit her but she didn't do nothing i was like i don't like that you want to be stirring shit. and then she's like and skillet's like what do you mean and i was like she's the one who told me to check your phone like she's over here stirring the pot about you and my unsay ex but at the time it was my boyfriend you and squidward like it's her like if it, it wasn't for her saying anything i probably wouldn't even, probably wouldn't even drink it so they start going in at it they're fighting we go into the room all three of us and we just start talking tyson's like outside of the door which i don't even know why but he's outside of the door me and skillet are yelling at each other and i'm like telling her like what the f like it seems like she doesn't even want me there and then she says she does she doesn't like what the f up? like is there something or not and she's like i don't know what you heard outside and i was like i didn't hear nothing and it's so weird you guys so weird I, they lo juro, I didn't hear the full conversation they were having. I just like, wah, 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 wah. this has happened to me a few times where people think like I see them or like I hear what's going on and they, they just end up like writing themselves out. No joke. Like there's one time I caught this guy cheating on my friend and he ended up snitching himself out because I had literally just like passed by where he was doing his shit, passed by and and came and found me and he was like oh my god like please don't tell her please don't tell her like i know you saw me and so and so like he literally told me everything and i was like and in my head i was like don't say nothing bitch don't say nothing like don't say nothing because he literally just told himself don't say shit. so i was like like you know i have to tell her right like it was and i till this day 
I don't remember seeing him do that to this day. Even when I told her, I was like, yo, this is what happened. I walked past, didn't even see them, not even my peripheral, going through my own sh He thought I saw him. She's like, are you f***ing me? I was like, yeah. So me and her are talking. He's over there freaking having a meltdown. And they broke up and that's how we found out like her boo was cheating. So I was like, how would you tell her? Like, I didn't hear anything you guys were talking about. Like, that's the only reason why I be hitting him up. He be hitting me up, blah, blah, blah. So I guess the reason why her and Squidward would, would talk sometimes is because he was getting stuff for her to like sell to her friend, whatever. And I'm like, dude, if that's the case, like, I don't know why you couldn't just tell me that from the get. That sounds more believable than what the hell you were telling me. I don't gotta explain myself to you. And so I was telling her like, Yo, like, you just need to chill. Like, I don't know if the alcohol is, like, hitting you. Like, you just need to chill. Like, I ain't trying to fight with you like that. And she's like, not everybody wants your man. I don't know why you were, like, all up in your feelings. La, 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 la. And I'm like... And, like, coffee is even, like, chill. Like, telling her, like, you're making yourself look guilty of something that you're saying that you're not even doing. And she's like, fuck you, bitch. Like, she goes in on coffee, and I'm just like... Tyson has to come inside and remove Skillet because he's just like, yo, like you're tripping for like, I don't know what reason, like just stop talking, dude. Like that Henny hitting you, like stop talking. Like it was so awkward. Cause I was like, <sighs> so I don't know if that was the case or what. I don't know if that's what they were doing. And then they ended up like doing stuff because that's how they like started talking. I don't know. But I was like, who the f was it who even came up to the group? Cause I was like, trying to figure out like who was the one who came into the group and like was telling Skillet like hey who's that dude that does this for you whatever because like all you hear is want 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 I couldn't see anybody like it was just like y'all I don't know how to explain it to you like when my brain does this like I don't know why it happens like I don't know why like I just told you about how my friend got like her dude like snitched on himself I don't know why it happens like I'm literally like like I, I, I don't pilot I don't know what the f going on half the time where I'm just like uh, I don't, I don't know. Like my body goes into like, we got a protector, got a protector. I don't know. So I'm just staying in the room with coffee and me and her are just sitting there talking and she's like, I don't know if she is or she isn't, but never let a dude come between you guys. And just trying to give advice. And I'm just telling her like, I don't need your advice. Like, I don't want to hear your advice. I don't like you. And she's like, you're a mouthy little bitch. You know that? Like you're lucky I don't hands on you because blah 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 because she knew one of my cousins and my cousins like rocked her a couple times but I was just still trying to process everything that was going on because I didn't want to lose skillet but I wanted to know if anything had happened would it have made a difference no how stupid does that sound right would it have made a difference no I think because I secretly knew I secretly knew that this wasn't the person the ex he wasn't the person that I was going to spend the rest of my life with so I felt like I think that's why I let a lot of it happened was because I secretly knew he wasn't my happily ever after which is still not a good way to think don't think like oh this person could put me through whatever because like they're not my happily ever after no value value yourself more because that is not okay to think like that but I think that's how little Lex was thinking because like I knew he wasn't my happily ever after you don't know how many times my mom and my grandma were like we'll let you marry him we'll let you marry him and I still was like no <laughs> no like I don't mm -mm. I didn't see him as my husband I didn't see him as no I just I just couldn't I just couldn't but the chance that me and Rudy gets married quickness quickness bitch Rudy's my husband quickness I was like I'm gonna marry that man as soon as I saw laid my eyes on him I was like that's my husband swear to god like as soon as I laid my hand my, my eyes on him I was like that's my that's that's my that's my husband that's my husband the ex I just I didn't have that even though I have two babies by him I was still never like that's my husband that's my husband and I, I just I don't know and I think that's why little Lex like let a lot of shit a lot of shit is because I didn't see him as husband at all like I don't know I think my soul knew I think my soul did know you know what I'm saying but yeah anyways so me and Coffee just stay in there for like a good while, like a good while. Skillet ends up coming in. She is just like, hella, hella, like cloud nine. And it's just hugging me. And it's just like, yo, like, I'm so sorry for tripping. Like, oh, like I should have just told you the truth from the get. Like, yeah, there is sometimes like we just like hang out sometimes. And like, I wasn't even trying to go into it with her about that. Like, and what do y'all do? And this and that, because like I tell you, 
girls shouldn't have to dress a certain way when they're around men. But, I'm, I'm gonna say but, I feel like there is being respectful. Even though we were young and dumb, I still was like not gonna dress a certain way if her dude or brothers were around because I'm being respectful and she would play on like I'm not gonna change because of no one like he should keep his eyes to himself which is like go go off girl go off go off but I would want her to show respect for me and not do it so like I feel comfortable but like that still wasn't okay but like I know you guys know what I mean right so I just like I just hugged her and I just kept like drunk talking to her too and I just remember like telling her like I love you like I love you like I really really love you like I don't want no one to come between us she was saying it too we just sound so stupid and we were just like promising each other a bunch of hoopla hoopla and I went through her phone and I'm gonna leave it there so I love you guys so freaking much I hope you guys enjoyed the story time and the makeup look I really love how this one came out like me beautiful i like it and my nails too i feel like a fancy little beach oh ah hey turn up oh ah. turn up i love you guys so much if you guys enjoy story times please make sure to give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you guys are notified every time i go live and i'll see you guys in my next story time bye and make sure to follow me on instagram so you guys know if you guys want to give away bye <laughs>